Um, I do think there are two sides to the story. I think there's the side from the person itself, and I think there's the side from the viewer. So on the side of the person itself, I think I agree consent is a matter of principle and it's a matter of ethics that you should choose the person that you're faking. And when they're alive, they can use their image um, to create custom images or custom videos or custom messages. But I think on the, even if the person has consent, I think on the viewer, he has to be informed that this is a deep fake, that this is not the, the person actually saying this. Um, I'm not sure if in the video itself they say this, but if there's a deep fake of the person um, that was deceased during the action, they should say this is not real, this is kind of, um, this is perhaps a message from the family or something, but for sure clarify that because if not, it's mis misinformative. So you kind of start wondering, yeah, consent is necessary because as long as someone doesn't give it to you, even if you're not trying to do much with it, maybe it's still something you would not be okay with. Like, you should be able to choose who gets to make those decisions for you as well, right? Like, it's not necessarily... Like, it kind of feels right now like it's an inherited thing, right? Like, Stan Lee's daughter gets to make a decision about everything Stan Lee's image, whereas... Because she's his daughter, whereas maybe he didn't want his daughter to make those decisions. Let, let's consider it with <laughs> statues, right? Like, we, we have seen statues of Ben Franklin, of all these big historical figures. So why, you know, why is a deep fake of Dali any different than that statue? I, I completely agree with him. Like, you can make a statue of Benjamin Franklin calling for a revolt. Like, just because it still doesn't mean he can't send a message. Yeah. Um, but that's why I think a big part of the ethics falls into the viewer themselves you have to inform them that this is something that the person yeah. itself wants um independent of the person itself if they wanted to send the message or not um it becomes unethical when the person is manipulated i think like it well it's, it's a good question but if someone creates something for fun is it unethical not really there, there's no effect like the person doesn't get that reputation of the person um no one is manipulated but at the point when someone is manipulated to change the perception of the person and that's when it becomes unethical and that's why i think overall one of the most important parts is communicating the fact that it's either real or not or consensual or not ben moi je pense qu'idéalement ça devrait être comme le don d'organe tu sais qu'on respecte ton droit après la mort à ton intégrité mais là qu'on respecte l'intégrité de ton image si tu veux pas donner tes organes même s'ils si sont encore bons ils ont pas le droit d'aller te les prendre Ben, on pourrait peut-être faire ça aussi pour les deepfakes, que si tu veux pas qu'on utilise ton image après ta mort, ben, que ça soit comme sur la carte de... Que, que ça soit comme dans ton testament, que genre, moi, mon image, elle reste privée, puis ça finit là, ou qu'il y ait comme le, le consentement euh, de pré-mortem, là. For me, I think my brother really nailed it down with the, um, the viewers should be informed of what's going on. Like, if the, like, I think, for example, I see a future, now that we're talking about this, I see a future where one day the deep pre the, the, all the presidents are deep faked into a Hamilton musical. And it's like literally George Washington just rapping it out, you know? Um, and uh, the, the point is that that, you know, uh, uh, and, and you see it like, these days we have very accurate historical films, we have not as accurate historical films, and we, uh, and we have the information to know if these are accurate or not. I think these movies should say hey this is based on a real story but it's not like actual like uh, or this is based on a real speech but it's not an actual like if you put those warnings at the beginning and you inform the audience um i think that th then at that point it becomes like good or right or fine um moi um je, je savais pas pour qu'ils avaient animé les, les victimes du uh, de l'explosion de liban Mais je trouve ça assez dérangeant de, de mon point de vue parce que culturellement, pour nous, la mortalité est quelque chose qui est très accepté. Donc, il y a les humains, on naît, on vit, on meurt. Donc, c'est très naturel. Donc, c'est dans notre culture, c'est quelque chose qui est même célébré un peu à la fin. Donc, le fait d'animer des personnes qui sont mortes, ça me gêne énormément parce que ça nous montre à quel point la technologie, au fait, c'est ce qui va, c'est ce que l'humain, l'humain utilise pour le ramener le plus proche de l'immortalité, ce qui en soi-même est dérangeant parce que si des gens comme Dali, euh, même des artistes, même si c'est pour les célébrer, s'ils sont ramenés à cette immortalité, c'est un peu... Euh, c'est pas à leur profit parce que eux ils sont déjà partis, donc c'est au profit des gens qui restent, mais aussi ça... Je sais pas, ça nous détache un peu de notre humanité, ça me gêne énormément. 
Mais euh, euh, j'avais regardé le Fast and Furious et aussi j'avais remarqué, j'avais pas remarqué quand Paul Walker était mort, les scènes où il était vivant ou pas. Et ça, en soi-même, ça me gêne, même si j'ai énormément adoré, j'étais attachée à lui, je voulais le célébrer aussi, j'ai compris, mais c'est quand même assez gênant, je trouve. Éthiquement, la limite pour moi, ça serait à le moment que cette personne meurt, ça devrait en rester là. Donc, ça serait ça ma limite à moi, éthiquement. Pour um, the victim, Uh, I think it's it's not really right. It's not moral to do something like that. I don't know what exactly the message is in the video, um, but if I I compare this to um, I knew Evan, if they were to to put a victim and to pass a message saying that uh, all Islamic people are bad, and they they made someone say that, uh, I. I would be really, really upset. So, um, yeah, I think um, I think for for the victim, it's, it's really wrong. It will be only right if uh, they, they signed something before him, before dying, or that they were uh, really for the message, that they were part of a group that was really for something, and that the video was promoting something. Legally, I don't disagree, but ethically, I still feel like unless you give specific rights to anyone to be able to make those decisions for mm -hmm. you, they're, they like not legally. Obviously, it goes to whoever it gets your estate and all of that, right? But ethically, I feel like no one has it unless you specifically gave it to them. 